Okay, today we're going to do the last chapter in Galatians Doodles for Galatians 6. And here we're going to draw three scrolls across the top of the page. And the simplest scroll that I do is a curved line and a curved line. And you're going to gather these together with a straight line. And then I'm just going to swirl swirl and then I'm going to draw that line there and that line there. So that's your typical double curl scroll or you can do the straight top scroll so you're going to go down and loop that around and then you're going to draw a straight line loop this with a curve go across here match that back up there and then bring that one down and you can draw the rest of that circle there if you want to and line in. That's a little bit trickier but it's kind of a cool look too. And then of course you can draw the scroll the other way too by curving the line here, curving the line here, straight line, straight line, curly Q and match it up. And that's your basic scroll. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit, so I want you to draw a magnifying glass. The simplest one is a circle and a rectangle. Then you can draw another circle inside if you want, and that's your magnifying glass. You can draw one that's a little bit more at an angle, a little circle there, and go wider at the bottom. You can draw a little reflection on the glass like that if you want to. Or you can draw it the other way. Circle with a circle inside. And looking down this way, reflection. Whatever floats your boat. And then um, we're going to have, because this is the last chapter, I have you go back and look through your journal, add some doodles. Um, one of my f favorite ones to do is kind of like a leaf or a feather. You just draw your straight line up like that and then you're going to draw just a little loop and like an upside down teardrop at the top. And then you're going to just go, you're going to add leaves so it's going to be more narrow at the top and it's going to go wider at the bottom like a fern almost. So I'm just going to loop, loop, and I'm not even going to lift my pen. Up, 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 you're just kind of getting bigger as you go down and you're making like weird figure eights almost that are kind of meeting in the middle. Or an even simpler way to do this is draw your line and you're just going to do S's. You can loop them back, really eight, figure eight like, or you can just make them like a U, like that. Another one that I like to do is if you're going to draw like a curvy line like that, you can just do your loops and skip and come back. Like that. That's kind of fun. Or the same if you draw a circle. Like sometimes you just want to really circle a point that's hitting home, scribble circle. And you can do the same thing there. Just draw these leaves or bows. Sorry, my husband's still sawing. And then this is kind of fun to add just some dots with your pen like that. Um, another one that is fun is sometimes you can just do those little loops on a dot like that. You can color them in or leave them open. Uh, a fun little bird is you draw a swoopy line so that looks kind of like an S without the top part on. Then you go back around and touch it up like that. 
and you just draw a triangle, two eyes, and the feet. You can leave like that, or you can put little toes on them like that. You can make it so it's not so swooped on the back. It comes back around. Maybe he's standing in the water. And then I also have a pen on there. If you wanted to, we'll do a pen and a pencil. So a pencil is just two lines down. Then I'm going to draw kind of a rounded top for the eraser. A couple lines there. And then come to a point here. And you can draw your little slashes, your lead, and then what you wrote. The pen is kind of the same thing, so I'm going to draw the lines, rounded bottom, and then this has one of the little ends that you can turn around and put the cap on. And then the top of my pen is at an angle, like that. Then I have the clip, and where the lid meets, and just a couple of lines like that. That can be your pen. Some more flowers, and then just dots. And remember to do outlines of things to add a little bit more details if you want to. And that's it for the book of Galatians. I hope you guys have had a lot of fun. I hope even more than that, that you've learned a lot more about God and about struggles as a Christian and that you have hope because we always have hope because we always have Christ. All right, we'll talk to you guys on the next study. Thanks.